Hello, happy Wednesday everyone. So today's project is actually a challenge. It's a school-wide challenge that I'm hoping that we can get most of the school to participate in that includes both students and teachers and staff. So let's see if we can do this. So I've been thinking a lot about how we're all kind of, I guess, we're all home a lot. And that looks a little bit different for all of us. You know, for most of us, it means that um, we have a lot of time together as a family. And most of the time, that's good. Um, it can be a little challenging. People get on each other's nerves or whatever. But overall, um, I hope that home is a happy place for you right now and that you're finding that you're using this time to connect to people more closely. So our project is entitled Happy Homes. And um, I've actually been doing a little bit of online class learning myself. And I was inspired by another artist um, who makes these really cute little happy house paintings. Um, I'm going to start by showing you a um, slideshow of different examples. Some of these are ones that I found online and some were given to me by Mrs. Johnson, her mom, my two daughters and myself. Uh, so I'm going to take the camera from my son, Ben. Thanks, Ben. Mm -hmm. All right, and let's see how this works. Okay, so this is um, the slideshow that I'd like to show you. And it says, Happy Homes. And this is an actual house right here. Um, that I thought was just absolutely adorable. So I had to pull that up. And I'm gonna zoom in on that guy. And then this up here is an apartment building with faces and hearts. Just absolutely adorable. So your challenge, what does your happy home look like? materials can you use to make a 2D or 3D home? All right. So this is an image of the little happy houses on Google that I saw that I thought were just absolutely adorable. Um, they're small collages made from paper, cardboard, and paint. This one up here, we have some that are actually constructed cardboard houses and down here are some fabric quilt squares. So they're all different ways that you can be making your homes. These were actually given to me by our own Mrs. Johnson. So Mrs. Johnson started by going outside to her front uh, driveway and she actually used chalk to make a beautiful happy house chalk drawing in her on her front driveway, which I'm sure is just brings a smile to everyone's face as they walk by. And then over here, she made a collage out of uh, papers. Oh, for some reason, we're not seeing the whole thing of it. But she's got her happy little house over here. She used different scrapbook papers. And then down here, oh, I wish you could see this guy better. Oh, he was a little acorn guy. This right here is my daughter, Megan. And she is working from home. And I challenged her to take a break and make me a happy house. So she actually built her house out of cardboard, um, out of some boxes that she was going to recycle. And then she covered her house with construction paper. I love that she made this little um, awning over the front door. Very creative. Good job, Meg. All right. This is actually a collage that Mrs. Johnson's mom made for us for this presentation. Um, Mrs. Pengel used um, a, a page from a calendar and then she collaged happy little images all around it. Flowers, birds, animals, butterflies, and even some little girls running. Love it. This right here is my other daughter, Amber, made a really cute happy house drawing. And all she used for this was pen and marker. So you can your materials can be as simple or as elaborate as you choose. Okay, 
This next page is actually some of my own. So I'm going to show you the real things instead of showing you the slideshow. So this little guy right here, he's actually my favorite. Um, if you turn him over, you can see that all, all I did was I took pieces of cardboard from a box that I was about to recycle, cut them into the shapes that I wanted to, and I have acrylic paint at home. So I used the acrylic paint to decorate my little house. Um, I added, I made sure that I used lots of bright colors. I did some stamping and some patterning um, and added the little face that I think it makes it look really cheerful. And I'm thinking I'm actually going to put a little magnet on the back of this so it can be hung on a refrigerator. All right, another really simple idea right here. I pulled this out of my recycle bin also and I just used permanent Sharpie markers to make this happy little apartment building. Easy peasy, you don't need money supplies, just markers and an old can. This one took me a little longer, but it was my project for last night. Uh, this is actually a quilt square. So um, I sewed it together last night. Um, these fabrics that I chose from here were just kind of in my scrap bin. These right here um, were for from my son's curtains in his bedroom when he was a baby. And this was from his toy bag, and these were from PJs I made for him. And then I add these happy little buttons on it. Little um, daisy button. There's his smiley little face again. And there's a little firefly button and some stars. And my, I'm thinking that it might be fun to make a Faith Ringwald type story quilt. So maybe make a couple of these happy houses and then write a story about our time in quarantine. Put that around the edge. What do you think, third graders? All right. So now I just want to show you how simple it is to use anything that you've got on hand to make these houses. So over here, I've got an empty uh, pie crust box, an empty yogurt um, box, and oatmeal squares. So I cut up pieces of each of those to make this happy little guy. So there's the happy, the roof from the pie crust box, my oatmeal squares, some berries from the Chobani box. And they even had this little smile right on the Chobani box. So I just cut that guy right out and stuck him on. So you really don't have to do much to make a really creative and cute happy house. All right, I'm gonna show you one more idea. Okay. So this I was actually inspired by the, Lock, the Lockwood family. The Lockwood family sent me a picture of some paper mache eggs that they were making. So I thought, hey, paper mache, that's another thing that kids can do with really simple things that they have at home. So I raided my recycle bin again and just grabbed a box. Then I went upstairs into my attic and I pulled out some old uh, wallpaper or wrapping paper. Uh, this one has some jungle animals on it. The other one was actually um, from a baby shower, I believe. And I ripped up pieces of these, very small, and I glued them all over to make this covering for the box. Then I used just simple chalk to outline and add patterns and design. So paper mache is just real quick. I want to show you if you'd like to say it's Stay on, I'll show you how to make um, paper mache. So, this mixture right here is literally just flour and water. Um, it's to the consistency of like yogurt or gravy. Um, so you just put a little bit of flour in, maybe a couple tablespoons of flour, just a, a little bit of water at a time, whisking it up until you get this paste. Now, to actually put it on to you. This is already dried. I did it yesterday, but I left the, the back blank so that you can see it so I could show you how to do it. So I'm gonna lay this down here. And you can start by just taking ripped up pieces of the paper and you could use newspaper, you can use wrapping paper, any scrap papers that you find. And I dipped it, dipped it into the paper mache and then I stick it on. Now paper mache is a little goopy, a little messy, but it doesn't have to be su a super big mess, moms and dads, so don't worry. Um, there's a little monkey piece 
I'm going to glue that monkey guy right below. And you just keep adding paper overlapping on each other until you cover up the back of your box or your bottle or whatever it is that you're planning to make your happy house from. So again, let's review. So your, your assignment is to make a happy home. So your home might be in a house, it might actually be an apartment building, whatever you choose. The, the point is to use colors or expressions or um, even little faces on your homes to make them happy. So some ideas of materials that can be used. Sorry, I'm just gonna wipe my hands real quick. So I'm gonna steal the um, foam from Ben again. Thanks for your help, Ben so that I can put up my list of suggested materials. And of course, these are just a sampling of ideas. So you can use pencils, plain or colored, crayons, markers, chalk, or pastels, um, paint on anything, cardboard, paper, canvas, collage, newspaper, magazines, scrapbook papers, construction paper, cardboard or other 3D materials, wood, fabric, natural materials, kind of even, you could even make a happy home fairy house. Uh, bark, sticks, moss, those are all good building materials from nature. You could do pho photography or digital work. Then you could also use Legos or other types of building blocks. So the options are pretty endless. All right, I'm gonna move slowly back to Ben. All right, so again, I'm hoping that we can get as many people as possible to uh, work on this challenge. When you do finish, please don't forget to email it to me, jconroe at waynecsd.org so that I can um, post it on our WE at Home Art Gallery. All right, well, have fun. Can't wait to see your ideas, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.